You've seen it before. Winds, floods, the devastation left after a massive hurricane passes through. There's a lot of debate as to what's been causing all of these hurricanes. Some scientists say it's part of a naturally occurring cycle, while others have made the claim global warming is to blame. Dr. William Gray and Dr. James O'Brien, two of the nation's top weather and ocean scientists, point to scientific data for the answer. We only have good data with a satellite around the globe going back about 20 about 20 years and in those 20 years we see no significant change in the frequency and intensity of hurricanes or major hurricanes around the globe. Gray and many of his colleagues believe it's not global warming that's creating these massive hurricanes but the cycle of nature itself. Since it's changed there's been a lot of people saying ah uh -huh, the globe is warming. This is a cause of these last two year storms. Well, we don't think that's the case. This is the way nature sometimes works. It's these changes in the Atlantic salt content and currents that Gray says causes most of the hurricanes on the east and gulf coasts. This year, the probability of a major hurricane is about 81 percent. And while this number is a prediction, it's based on science and research, so it never hurts to be prepared. I'm Kate Brooks.